Hi, I'm Chris Bradshaw from Hexagon. In this video, we'll take a look at how to set up and create your own custom units file for use with Caesar 2. Alright, so what we're going to do to start with is we're going to create our own custom units file. So I'm going to first of all change the folder that we're working in. So go File, Folder Access, and change the default data folder to our current working folder. Mine is currently the examples folder. So I can browse or I can simply copy and paste the path of the folder that I've already created. Okay. And go back to the main ribbon. Now let's create the eight units file. So that's available under the utilities tab on the ribbon. And the button that you want is this one here, create or review units files. Hitting that button displays this window here and we need to choose do we want to review an existing unit file or create a new one. So let's hit create a new units file and you then choose one of the existing units files to start from. I'm going to choose the mm.fil to start from and the new units file I'm going to give it a name so just give it a suitable name here and then click view edit file. And here we can change the units for any of the available fields. So most of this is okay. However, I prefer to have stress in megapascals, for example, or newtons per square millimeter. So I'm going to change stress and pressure and Young's modulus from kilopascals to megapascals. And all the density fields I'm going to change to kilograms per cubic meter. So I have pipe density insulation density and fluid density to kilograms per cubic meter. And then for the translational stiffness, I want that in newtons per millimeter rather than centimeter and the same for the uniform load. Okay. And that's it. That's all I'm going to change. So I'm ready, happy with that. The only other thing to change is the units file label so I can easily identify without having to search through each of these units to check that I have got the correct unit set. So I'll just enter in a label and then click OK and save. We can then close this window. Now that units file has been created we need to tell Caesar 2 that that is the units file that we want to use. So now go to the configuration editor in here. This will edit the configuration file in the current data directory. And I will change under database definitions, the units file name, and I'll change that. And you will see in there, the units file that you just created. And then save the configuration. Now I'm ready to start the new file. I hope you found that useful. But if you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at Hexagon. Thank you for watching.